Okay, you missed the cut at Royal Pines, but then made it in Melbourne. What would, how did you feel about Melbourne and about your summer overall? Uh, well, I was happy to I was happy to play well at Royal um, the first two days, which was was a really kind of good homecoming for me. You know, growing up in the back of Royal Melbourne, it was uh, it was a different experience playing on a course that you're aware of the local knowledge that you have over the rest of the girls. So. I, I just really tried to take advantage of that, and it was it was really nice playing in front of my family. I had my my little cousins come out, and they made me signs, and you know, were waving at me, and uh, and you know, yelled out semi appropriate things to cheer me up during the round. If you know if things weren't going my way, and and it was good. It's 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 something I don't get to do very often, and uh, and it meant meant a lot to me to be able to do it. Was it as tough as everyone said it was that week? Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty difficult. Uh, it's just sandbelt golf, you know, I, and I think that Royal makes you really, it makes you think. And, and a lot of the girls, like, it's not the hilliest golf course, sure, there's some undulation on it, but, you know, it's not set into the side of the mountain, but the amount of people that told me that they were exhausted at the end of the week was unbelievable. They just, you know, you just, you can never switch off, and you always, you know, there's no part that you're not thinking about the next part that you could have, and uh, and I think that that kind of um, that kind of mental awareness the, the whole time was was pretty pretty taxing on a lot of people. 